Everybody knows what colors tigers and crocodiles naturally come in. However, have you ever seen a white crocodile or a black tiger at any point? An orange bat or a pure black deer? Hello and welcome to another mind-blowing episode of Forever Green. And in today's video, we're going to show you some of the rarest color variations of animals caught on camera. Black Bengal Tiger just like we have the white Bengal tiger, we also have the black Bengal tiger. You know, it's Mother Nature's way of bringing neutrality to life. The black tiger was first spotted by an artist, James Forbes, in 1773 in Kerala, southwest India, who made a painting of the pure black no-striped tiger, which was sadly shot a few months later by poachers. It was said to be a true melanistic tiger. However, common black tigers cited are not true melanistic tigers, but pseudo-melanistic tigers. Pseudomelanism occurs when tigers have thick, dark stripes which fuse on their light-colored orange coats, making them entirely black. These black tigers are common now due to inbreeding. Unlike the white tigers, the black tigers are said to be smaller than the normal orange tigers, but this doesn't hinder their survival or strength in the wild. The black tigers do not belong to any subspecies other than the recognized ones. It's just a distinct color variant. Albino Red-Eyed Owl As unreal as this fascinating creature may seem to you, it's actually very real. Some animals, as you may have seen in this video, lack nature's crayon, melanin. This fairy tale bird with snow-white features and cherry red eyes is a screech owl. The albino owl looks like one with x-ray vision. But before you start thinking this is another creation of a mad scientist, allow me to explain how it came about its red eyes. You see, because this owl lacks melanin, its eyes didn't quite get the right pigmentation. So what you see is just the blood vessels in the eyes while the skin around the eyes reflects the colorless iris. Painted Bat The painted orange bat, aka the butterfly bat, is a magnificent and unusually colored animal, especially for a bat. It can be found in Bangladesh, China, India, Malaysia, Thailand, and Vietnam, as well as other woodland and arid places. This gorgeous critter was first sighted in 1888 in Bangladesh, and then they were later believed to have been extinct after they were discovered, but they were rediscovered after 133 years in Madhapur National Park in June 2021. Unlike most other bats, they have the same body and tail length, which ranges between 3 to 5.5 centimeters. They usually don bright orange or scarlet plumages, with black wings and more orange along the fingers. They have a fragile form, generally small, with large funneled ears and, strangely, 38 teeth. Yep, you heard that right, which comes in handy when they munch down on insects. They're nocturnal animals that hate being disturbed. The older males appear to be more brightly colored than the females. The painted bat is a sight you'd dream to behold if you haven't already. Albino Kangaroo Just as with other albino animals, this amazing creature is one that occurs once in every 50,000 births. This one was first spotted on the property of a woman named Sarah Kinnan in Longreach, Queensland, Australia. When she first saw it, she couldn't get a picture. But luckily, the rare roo came back after six months and she had her camera ready this time. She got a few shots of the kangaroo hopping along. We're glad she took these pictures. Here's a clip of one raised in captivity. Just look at the disbelief in her eyes. Just a truly remarkable sighting. Amazon River Dolphin This amazing species of toothed whale is known as the Pink River Dolphin or Boto or Buffeo by the locals. It's the largest species of river dolphin weighing up to 185 kilograms, and the male is 55% bigger than the female. So you might wonder why a dolphin would be called pink, right? Well, that's because they're actually pink. The adult Amazon river dolphin sports a pink color and are like any other regular colored dolphin. However, this coloration is more prominent in their males. When newly born, they have dark gray skin, and the color transforms as they grow. The males tend to be pinker than the female. They live up to 30 years, but the intensive hunting and dumping of waste in their natural habitat affects their population. They can be found in Brazil, Peru, and Venezuela, and are believed to be mystical creatures. 
However, they've also been found in Hong Kong, where many gather to behold them in their full glory. Pure Black Deer Although this might seem like a scene from a fantasy movie, melanin deer are actually a thing. They're known as melanistic whitetails, and these guys are true gems that are generally celebrated by even deer hunters. They lack the distinct color variation of brown and white plumages associated with deer. Most melanistic deer are black throughout their entire body, while some may have an exception in the hair around their tail. The pure black deer is a rare, random genetic mutation, but they have no other difference from the regular deer other than their coat color. White Alligator This is Clyde. Clyde is an albino male alligator, Alligator Mississippiensis, at the California Academy of Sciences. The first ever albino alligator was hatched on 15 September 1995 in Florida. Like his predecessor, Clyde faces several challenges due to his colorless skin. He can't camouflage in his environment, hence he had very little chance of survival. In 2008, Clyde was moved to the California Academy of Sciences, and in 2009, Clyde's right finger claw was cut due to an infection caused by the bite of another alligator. Rare Pink Katydid Katydids are usually known to have a green or brown color which allows them to camouflage into their environment, but a pink-colored katydid? Well, this is very real. This fascinating fuchsia katydid is a result of a genetic mutation that allows an increased amount of red pigment in the absence of the regular green pigment. The condition is known as erythrism. It occurs once in every 500 creatures. You'd have a better chance of seeing a unicorn in the wild than ever coming across these guys. So you can understand the excitement on Derry Saputa's face when he luckily found one in the wild. The only downside to being a pink katydid is that they'd obviously stand out in a green environment, making them easy picks for predators. Hence, they have low chances of survival in the unforgiving wild, another reason why these guys are so rare to find. Since being first discovered in 1881, scientists have tried to produce pink katydids in captivity, but have had very little success that is until 2021 in New Orleans in the Audubon Insectarium. They had acquired both male and female pink katydids and produced a litter of cute new pink babies. I think we might get to see these guys more often. White Tiger Sounds weird? A tiger is usually characterized by orange fur, dark vertical stripes, and a white underpart. But we have those that stand out. The Bengal White Tiger the Bengal white tiger is a lucidic coloration variant of the Bengal tiger. Lucism is a rare genetic mutation that happens when both parents carry the white coloring gene. It's said to occur once in every 10,000 births for tigers. The white tigers may have the usual black vertical stripes with a white or near white coat instead of the common orange coat. In rarer cases, some white tigers have no visible stripes. Aside from the fascinating color variation, white Bengal tigers are known to grow faster, stronger, heavier, and more aggressive compared to orange tigers. The white Bengal tigers have always been an entity in the spotlight. The Swedish rock band, Kent, featured a white tiger on the cover of their best-selling album, Vapen and Ammunition. Also, a trained white tiger was used in the TV series Anamorphous. The white color of the Bengal tiger prevents adequate camouflage, reducing their survival chances. No white tigers are known to be in the wild, but about 200 are in captivity. Silver Fox Wouldn't you like to pet this dazzling creature? This is the rare silver fox, a melanistic form of the red fox. While other rare colorations we've seen so far result from a lack of melanin, this awesome critter has loads of it. Silver foxes display excellent color variation. Some don a glossy black coat with a white patch on their tail, giving them a somewhat silvery appearance. They're among the valued fur breed as their pelts were worn by nobles in Russia, Western Europe, and China. Good thing that was a long time ago. Efforts are being made to preserve this breed so they can grace us with their presence for a lot longer. They're mostly spotted in Australia and also seen in Siberia and the Caucasus Mountains. They have similar behaviors to the red fox. The silver fox can be seen on Prince Edward Island's coat of arms. 
The phrase silver fox is used to describe a handsome older man. This information might be for you if you know what I mean. Blue Kalamintha Bee Just as the sky is blue, the bees are known to be black and yellow until a fascinating recent rediscovery of a rare blue bee decides to change the status quo. The blue bee, kind of rhymes with bumblebee, was only known to exist in central Florida and its last sighting was in 2016. Before that, they were believed to be extinct. However, it was recently seen by two researchers at the Florida Museum of Natural History who spotted the blue wonder on a flower. And since then, researchers have spotted them in three previously known locations. Another unique feature of the blue Kalamentha bee is the presence of facial hairs, which they use for collecting pollen and is very unusual for bees. They're rare due to their limited habitat and diet. They feed and pollinate a flower called Ashes Calament and live in pockets of sand pine shrubs. If you stay in Florida, you should be on the lookout to sight one of these rare blue bees. Take a few seconds to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell button for more amazing videos just like this. Albino Elk This awesome guy that you're looking at is one of the rarest elks on the planet. Scientists believe that they only occur once in every 50,000 births. And to think a nature photographer was on hand to capture the majestic animal on one of its rare sightings is nothing short of extraordinary. Hans Nielsen couldn't believe his luck when he saw this elk walking by after scouring the area in search of the creature for a while. He'd heard rumors of the animal being around Ada in western Sweden and decided to trail it. Luckily, he found it, and we get the chance to see this mythical-looking elk because of him. The elk is white from head to hooves, and the antlers are no exception to the unique color scheme. Their coloration is believed to be due to either leucism or albinism. Keep watching for more fascinating creatures you didn't know existed. Pure White Stag In full glory, this majestic mystic creature with a dazzling color is a pure white stag. This amazing creature also suffers from leucism which causes its hair and antlers to lose their natural color. The white stag has played a vital role in many cultural mythologies and folklore. It can also be seen on the white heart badge of King Richard II of England. The white stag is believed to be a symbol of purity, beauty, and the other world. This glorious animal's theme has been adopted on several occasions. It was featured in Harry Potter as a Patronus charm used to guide him by his future self, and it was also used in the movie Snow White and the Huntsman. Only a handful of these animals have been sighted in 50 years. They have a lifespan of 25 years. A white stag's majestic appearance is an amazing sight to behold. Albino Snake Albinism in snakes is primarily common in corn snakes and Burmese pythons. Unlike the general belief of albino snakes being mainly white, they may be light yellow, cream, or light pink. The snake might lose some of its original colors, but not all of its natural colors are lost. Albino snakes also have solid red eyes due to the lack of iris coloration. With corn snakes and Burmese pythons being non-venomous, they're bred for their unique coloration for sale to snake enthusiasts leading to a decent number of corn snakes. But when it comes to protecting their eggs, the Burmese python doesn't mess around. So if you're looking forward to having a snake pet, there's your cue. Huge Pink Bull Nothing's quite as extraordinary as a pink bull. I mean, stuff like this is so hard to make up. Say hello to the pink bull named Ko. Ko lives in the Kuchi district, Vietnam, with its owner, Dang Van Gen. Dang Van Gen inherited the beautiful bull from his father after he passed away. He said his father bought the bull in 2001 when it was 10 years old. He further said the bull was initially white with little light shades of pink. Then the pink color became brighter as the bull grew older. Ko is powerful and incredibly intelligent compared to other bulls as it can plow a ton of hay, find its way to the fields and back home. As you'd expect, Dang Van Gen has received several proposals to sell the unique bull. Still, he rejected all of them as the bull is very important to him, mainly because he's gotten used to having the bull around, which serves as a reminder of his father. 
I wouldn't part with such a fantastic creature as well, would you? Its owner has plans to create a month-long event in their town where locals can visit and meet this big, friendly pink creature. Albino Turtle What would you do if you were to ever come across an albino tortoise? I'm pretty sure you'd be awestruck. This rare and ashen-skinned red-eyed turtle was spotted in Telangana State, southern India, and it was identified as a Galapagos turtle with albinism. It was discovered near a freshwater pond. Normally, Galapagos turtles have dark brown shells with light brown spots, but this albino turtle has a pale light pink shell. They can live up to 18 years, but most of them don't have a high survival rate because of their impaired eyesight. Only a handful of the albino turtle has been recorded. The albino Galapagos giant is the first albino turtle observed in captivity or the wild. It was born in a tropical zoo located in Servion, western Switzerland. It occurs once in every 100,000 births. It's indeed one beautiful and lovable creature. White Peacock Peacocks are natural dazzlers with their captivating feather display. We may be used to seeing a peacock's green, multicolored feathers, but maybe the existence of an all-white peacock is nothing more than a fairy tale. But yes, they exist and are as fascinating as you'd imagined. The white peacock is a variation of the blue peacock native to the Indian subcontinent. They have a completely white body with beautiful blue eyes. The white color is caused by a genetic condition known as leucism. Although leucism may cause some animals to be tame, that's not the case with white peacocks. Instead, they're as feisty and elegant as their colorful counterparts. They even tend to peck and kick those who try to handle them. There are no records of white peacocks in the wild as they're only found in captivity where they live up to 50 years. White peacocks are amazing and a sight to behold, particularly when displaying their snow white feathers. Indian Bullfrog the Indian bullfrog is a big species of frog usually found in South and Southeast Asia. But it isn't just the size of these guys that catch the eye. They're arguably one of the most uniquely colored frogs in the world. So look away, dark frog. They're typically green or brown, but significant color variation was found in a 2012 study on frogs from different villages of Western Ghats, Pakistan and the Jansboro district of Sindh. These frogs appear to have a yellow color and dual blue colored vocal sacs on both sides of the throat, which is mesmerizing to watch any time they croak. They're also bigger than compared to other bullfrogs. They lay many eggs, but lots of the tadpoles die before reaching adulthood. They can live up to seven years in the wild, and they're used efficiently to control the mosquito population. Chirodectus maculatus jellyfish Incredibly rare are words not often used to describe things, but they seem to be the only words to best describe the Chirodectus. The Chirodectus is a very rare monospecific genus of box jellyfish. The first and only scientifically studied specimen was captured from the outer edge of the Great Barrier Reef in May of 1997. Unfortunately, researchers could only observe it for several hours in a lab due to the delicate structure of the organism. There are no records of stings, but this jellyfish is assumed to be extremely venomous due to its large size and the number of chirodropids. There are only four photos of the 1997 capture, and they were published in scholarly journal memoirs of the Queensland Museum in 2005. Another specimen was seen by divers in the waters near Kaviang, Papua New Guinea on 26 December 2021. It's so rare that there have been only two recorded sightings ever. Black Mane Lion Lions are usually characterized by manes varying in color from blonde to sandy brown and then black, with the latter being very rare to spot. Luckily, a group of tourists found one in the wild. Unlike blonde or brown-colored mane lions, the black mane lions are said to have a more vibrant, majestic appearance, making them more attractive to the lioness and fiercer to their rivals. It's also noted that the cubs of black male lions are stronger and have relatively high chances of survival in the wild than their blonde counterparts. They're seen in gear forest in India, Africa, and Ethiopia. A higher population is found in Ethiopia. So if you would want a chance to sight this amazing and majestic creature, the Ethiopia Highland is your best shot. 
The black maned lion population is declining rapidly, making it rarer to sight than other colored males. It's assumed that the black mane is a result of evolution to safeguard the neck region of the lions during fights. Thank you for staying till the end. I had so much fun talking about these rare and amazing creatures. They all have a condition that influences their whole life, yet they stand out and are very unique in beautiful and extraordinary ways. I'm sure this video was entertaining and educational, and I hope you've learned something new. Let me know which of these creatures you find the most fascinating. And if you have encountered any one of them, kindly share your experience in the comments section. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell button to get notified when we upload a new video. See you in the next video.